start with the simple bar chart. A bar chart is used to graph one categorical variable with the different levels or categories of the variable on the x-axis and the counts or proportions in each category on the y-axis. Let's drag the categorical variable segments from dimensions to columns. And under measures, we can scroll down to find number of records, and we'll put that on rows. Notice that it relabels number of records to some number of records, so it's recording the total number of records or the total number of sales in each of the three segments or where this superstore is selling their products. So consumer had over 5,000 sales. In fact, we can say it's 5,191 records or 5,191 sales recorded. Home office had 1,783 sales recorded. If I wanted to show percentages rather than counts, on the drop down arrow to the right of some number of records, I can click add table calculation. I want to calculate the percent of the total sales in each category. So I'm just gonna click percent of total and then close this out. Now I can see the consumer group recorded 51% or 51.94% of sales. Home office only had 17.84% of sales. If we wanted to see how sales varied across segments in actual dollar amounts rather than numbers, I could remove number of records and instead put the measure sales on the y-axis. Now, again, I have the total number of sales in each of the groups. So as you, as you would expect, consumers had the most sales. They also had the most dollar amount of sales, 1,161,401. Home office, which only had 17,000 sales, ended up with $423,000 worth of sales. Let's say I didn't want to look at total sales, but say maybe the average sale in each of the three segments. Then under some number of sales, I could just change from the measure sum to the measure average. And now I can see the average sale for home office was $241. So even though there were fewer sales in home office, they ended up selling more product or a higher dollar amount. And same thing, there were a lot more consumer sales, but they averaged slightly less money per sale. What if we want to plot two categorical variables? We'll typically use a segmented bar graph for that where the levels of one variable will still be on the x-axis, like we have the levels of segment here, and the y-axis will show <laughs> counts or proportions in each category, or we've plotted average sales. But now each bar needs to be segmented by a different colors or some other defining characteristic to show the levels of our second variable. First, let's go back to looking at total sales rather than average sales. So under measure, we're gonna choose sum instead of average. Now we're going to drag region from the dimensions box over to the color area in the marks box. So we need to scroll down and we can find region. I'm going to drag and drop it right over the colors box in this marks area. And now if the show me tab is open, your legend will be hidden. So you can just click on that to see the legend of what each color is representing. So blue is representing the central region orange the east, pink the south, and this lighter teal blue the west area. Like discussed on page two of the descriptive statistics worksheet, plotting proportions allows you to take into account the different sample sizes in each group. So here we have almost 1.2 million dollars worth of sales in the consumer group, whereas we only have of around $400,000 worth of total sales in the home office group. So it's really difficult to compare the proportion of each sales taken up by the central region between consumer and home office. We can change our y-axis to look at proportions using our drop-down menu under sum of sales. We are going to go to add table calculation. 
we're going to change calculation type from difference to percent of total. We're going to compute using specific dimensions and we're going to make sure region is checked and segment is not. Now close out of your table calculation. Now we see the proportion of total sales for each region within each level of segment. Or in other words, this teal blue area, which takes up 31.25%, says that 31.25% of the total consumer sales occurred in the West region, or 21.7% of the total consumer sales occurred in the Central region. Now we can see that the proportion of sales for the Central region is the same in each segment, or at least relatively close, within 1%. In fact, that applies for all four of our regions. The proportion of sales in each region appears roughly the same, regardless of segment. Some final reminders. If you're plotting one categorical variable, use a bar chart. If you have two categorical variables, use a segmented bar graph, and be sure to plot proportions on the y-axis rather than counts or, in our example, total sales. The next videos will talk about plotting quantitative variables using Tableau.